Okay. Um, so my opponents brought up the um, the point that to to um, to go against our our the worst argument that uh, the policy is a cause of many deaths. But we are saying that the alternative to interdiction is worse. You reply with deaths, so I don't really see I don't see a relationship in this. We're saying that interdiction, uh, even though interdiction okay interdiction works, but even if you say that interdiction doesn't work, then the alternative is even worse. So. I don't see why your argument has any point in yours. And you also brought up the thing that eradication is already bad. But we say that the alternative to eradication is even worse. So that makes yours better. And you say that farmers can move, but we can we can we can find them. We can we're not stupid. Plus, we are already destroying the environment. I don't see why my side of the argument have, have to take the burden of that. Like if if we destroy we are already destroying the, the environment, so why don't we just destroy drugs with it? Isn't that a win-win situation? And also your point on criminalization. Well, uh, I'm going to argue that the moral stance against deviance argument. The drug war is effective because it is a moral stance against deviance. So I don't really care if the prisons are overcrowding or something like that because drug users just deserve to go to jail. And really, they're, they're, it's their fault for, for doing something that's and, okay, so my partner uh, brought up the point on the alternative worse. Anti-drug policies are effective. Neville and Coast Guard programs are essential. The alternative is local enforcement that is much worse. So, really, we have to stick with the U.S. policy because the alternative, any alternative um, ways are much worse than the policy. And she also said something about... Um, Alternatives to eradication fail without a credible threat of eradication. Um, in the absence of the credible threat of eradication, critics question what alternative strategies exist to officially deter drug producers from cultivating drug crops in the first place. Alternative development can take years to show results, rendering it an, an effective short-term solution. So because the alternatives to eradication is much worse and is very much more ineffective and then you say eradication is ineffective, but I say it's better. And also, um, the main point of the Asia pivot, we bring up the uniqueness that the drug war in Latin America is expanding. Spending on anti-drug efforts in Latin America is much higher than a decade ago, Mendoza. So um, that means that, and also um, the link that war on drugs in Asia lacks resources and attention. Um, Young and professor of Dean College. So, the impact is that the war on drugs is an even bigger threat to Asian democracy than Latin America. So, if you withdraw the um, drug policies from Latin America, it will be centered, it will be pivoted to Asia, and they can't take it. Um, if aggressive pr prosecution of the drug war has managed to undermine relatively well-rooted democracies, such as Colombia's, there is every reason to believe that U.S. drug policy in Asia may be even more reckless. So you want to make the situation worse? Then sure, um, render the U.S. policy and drug policy in Latin America as ineffective and withdraw it. And in the future, if that happens, they will pivot to Asia. And the situation will be even worse. So if you, you decide if you want to make this better or worse. And so our points of um, interdiction alternative being worse than interdiction defeats your any purpose of the Columbia plan of 